Good evening. Good evening, Hi. teacher. How are you? Very fine. Good, very good. How was your day? Mm. How was your day? Yes. So sorry. How was your day? Very How was your day? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, some days are more tired than others. Okay, yeah. some days are not Yes, some days are more tired than others. They're more tired than others. Than others. Hay días que son más cansados que otros. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. What is the celebration today in the United States in some places in El Salvador, in some schools? I can speak today. Okay, Jose Arnoldo. Okay, have you heard about St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's? No han oído la celebración de San Patricio, St. Patrick's. Yes, aquí se oyen, aquí se oyen los cohetes. <laughs> Not in my case, teacher. Ok, es una celebración irlandesa. Y como todo hoy es negocio, hasta aquí en El Salvador dicen St. Patrick's Day Specials y le dan ahí un, unas cuestiones. Anyways, welcome back. Hey. It's good to have you back. What's today's date? Today's date. What's today's date, people? Thursday. Thursday? Thursday 17. what? 17. 
17th of which March. month? Which month? March. March. Yes. 17th March. Thursday. 17th, 17th March. of March. So, usted dice, today, como dijo Delmi, today is Thursday. Déjenme que le puse Thursday con minúscula and that's not good. Thursday, March 17th, 2022. That's today's date. Thursday, March 17th, 2022. What is the British version to say the date? ¿Cómo dice el británico la fecha? Lo que les acabo de poner, that's the American version. What is the British version? Anybody? I don't know, teacher. Third March. Te dice el equivalente como lo decimos en español. 17th of March. 17th of March. Give me a second. 17th. 17th. Of March. So March. Ahí está. 17th of March is the British version. It's so, a British version. Lo que se le haga más fácil a usted, quédese con ella. You can use American version or you can use British version. But because of, of our geography, uh, it's more possible that one day you will be working with American people, not with British. Me explico. Por nuestra geografía es más fácil que terminemos trabajando con un norteamericano que con un uh, británico. So, but the two options are good. All right. How do you say anteayer in English? Ajá. Uh -huh. You can check your notes. Puede revisar sus apuntes. Espero que le hayan. The day after yesterday. The day before. The day before, before yesterday. The day before, before yesterday. The day before yesterday. How do you say pasado mañana? The day, the day after, after tomorrow. tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Y como tip para acordarse de cómo se dice pasado mañana, acuérdense de la película. Hay una película que se llama The Day After Tomorrow. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's begin. It's what time is it? Ten and six minutes. Uh, one more time. Twenty, twenty and twenty hours. Eight. Yes. Very good. Twenty hours and six minutes. Y de la manera cotidiana, ¿cómo diría las ocho y seis? Eight. 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 eight, eight o oh six. Oh, oh six. Eight o oh six. So you say eight o oh six. O oh six. Eight o oh six. El cero que va entre el uno y el nueve siempre se pronuncia o. Oh. Eight o oh six. All right, let's begin. Do you remember the topics we covered um, yesterday? Yes. What were the topics? We see the use of a uh, good, could be, could uh -huh. be, and can. It can. Good, very good. ¿Cómo se le llama would, could, can? What's the name of that? ¿Cómo se le llama esos? Volunteer? Models. Yes, very good. Models. 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 ¿Qué les dije acerca de los models? ¿Qué le hacen al verbo que usted está hablando? Agregarle eh, consonante. ¿Cuál es la función? La I should dance. ¿Ah? Huh? Should dance, dancing. I would. Para dar orden. 
No. Not exactly. Hay algunos no. que sirven para dar on, órdenes. Independientemente no. cuál sea el modo que usted esté usando, le da Me una, presente. una como función. Presente. Perdón. <risas> una función en particular al verbo. Usted va a una discoteca y paga 10 dólares por entrar y usted está sentado y se dice a sí mismo, I should dance. ¿Qué se está diciendo ahí? Una posibilidad. ¿Ah? Debería bailar. Debería bailar. Debería bailar. Entonces está dando un consejo usted solo. Debería bailar. Pagué de 10 dólares. Ok. I can dance. What's the meaning of I can dance? Yo puedo bailar. Yo puedo bailar. Yo puedo bailar. Uh -huh. What about I would dance? No puedo bailar. Uh -uh. I would dance. Ah, I debería would bailar. Debería, debería bailar. Yo debería no. bailar. Yo bailaría. Yo bailaría. No, no, no. no. So, I should dance. Ah, sí, sí. Yo es debería cierto. bailar. I can dance. Yo puedo bailar. And I would dance. Yo bailaría. But my wife is here. You know, usted dice, yo bailaría, but my wife is here. So, should, se está dando una recomendación. Can, usted está diciendo una habilidad que usted tiene. And I would dance, yo bailaría. It's a hypothetical situation. Una situación hipotética. Pero no la va a hacer because your wife is there. Because your husband is there. Your boyfriend and girlfriend is there. So, that. Questions or comments, people, about the function of models. Vuelvo a repetirle, ¿qué le hace el moro al verbo principal? Le da una función en específico. I should dance, I can dance, and I would dance. Las tres, they have a completely different message. Todas dan a un mensaje diferente al, al, al verbo principal del cual usted está hablando. Questions or comments? Preguntas. Vaya, en el caso, teacher. Vaya, digamos, yo bailo, ya no lleva I can. No, usted solo no. dice I dance. I dance. I, I dance. dance. I dance. Ah, yeah. I dance. Eh, eh, una, no uh, uh -huh. I, I have a question, teacher. Yes, Noemi. The, the model is. is um, Usually is is in beginning of the sentence. If it's a question, yes. Should okay. I dance? Can I dance? Would I dance? If it's a question, yes. It goes at the beginning of the of the, the structure. Okay, thank you. Good. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How a, how a, how a, a question? Yes, yes William. William. Con respecto, eh, eh, siempre estos verbos modales tienen que llevar acompañado el, el, el to be. El no, 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 no van acompañados del, del verbo to be. Uh, así como los ejemplos que yo le he dado, ahí está haciendo su función principal. Ahora, si usted ah. le pone el verbo to be, puede hacerlo, but the message is different. Okay. Ahí sí, sigue que... Ajá. Eh, no, eso con respecto a, a las ejercicios de la plataforma, este, vieron dos que no, no, no los pude. Siempre me salen malos, no sé en qué estaría. Ahí. Ok. Por el verbo tu vida. Ok, aprovechando que William está mencionando la plataforma. Se escucha un gran ruido de fondo, como interferencia, no sé si es mi celular. Ok. So, um... Where was I? Oh, sí, sí le puede poner el B, pero cambia el, 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 el sentido. Si usted está a las 11 de la noche en un lugar que no es su hogar, usted se dice a sí mismo. I should be in my house. I should be in my house. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? Debería estar en mi casa. Debería estar en mi casa. Yes. O usted está en, eh, a las 4 de la tarde en el estadio y usted dice, I can be at home, but I prefer the stadium. 
¿Qué digo ahí? I can be at home, but I prefer the stadium. Que puede estar en la casa, pero prefiere el estadio. Ajá. Exacto. Pero prefiere. Ahí estoy en el estadio a las cuatro. ¿Perdón? No. Ahí estaré a las cuatro, a five, en el estadio. No. No. I would, I, I can be at home, but I prefer I can... the stadium. Yo ah, puedo estar yes. en casa, pero prefiero el estadio. Yes. Turn off the light, please. Y aquí cerca le queda desde el teach. <laughs> yeah, the, the Cuscatlan <laughs> Stadium is, is near here. Yeah. Okay. Las cinco de vale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Las la cinco. <laughs> okay. Any other questions or comments about models? Get the water, please. Any, any questions or comments about models? Vuelvo a repetirles qué es lo que hace el model al verbo en el verbo dance que he ocupado de ejemplo ahorita. Le da una función en particular. Debería bailar, puedo bailar, bailaría. So, es el mismo verbo dance, but the meaning is completely different. The meaning is completely different. Questions or comments? I go a uh, happy uh, weekend. One more time. Okay. Okay. Any other questions or comments, people? I, I can. I go happy weekend. You oh, can have okay. a nice weekend. Uh huh. You can have a nice weekend. You can have a mm -hmm. You can have a nice weekend. Weekend. Okay, so let me show you this. Where is this image? Mm -hmm. Did it rain yesterday in your house? I could dash. Yes, teacher. No okay. The yes, teacher. I did great. Hard or soft? Hard. Very hard. Ah, yes. Yeah. Very hard. Yep. How much time? Thank you. For an hour. Yep. All right. Okay, so let's begin. Can you see my book? Yes, 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 teacher. Okay, very good. Yesterday, we read this conversation. How do you say letras negrias? Negrias. Brown. How do you I say like. letras negrias, Pur. people? Pur. Yes. Until. Okay, ¿cómo se le llaman a las negrías en inglés? Proverbial. Ball letters. Ball letters. Ball letters, thank you. Si todavía tiene que ver el cuaderno para decir ball letters, write them again. Vuelva a escribir, vuelva a escribir. What, what am I gay? Ball letters. ¿Cómo se ball escribe? There. How ball do you spell it? Ball there. My K. Pregúnteme en inglés cómo se escribe. How do you spell? Very good. Mister, Mister, I see you on the cabalito. How do you spell? Boller. Boller. Boller letter. Ahí en ese caso la la D es muda. Es muda. Boller. Yes. Boller. Boller. Yes. So, fíjese bien los ejemplos que le voy a dar. Yes, yes. Um, I worked at the previous know. institution Pronto. from 2017 to 2020. ¿Qué digo ahí? I worked at the previous institution from 2017 to 2020. ¿Qué digo ahí? Trabajé en esta compañía desde 2011 a 2016. 
Ok. Trabajé en la compañía Buenas previa noches. o la compañía anterior. Yes, very good. That's the idea. For, I worked there for three years. ¿Qué digo ahí? I worked there for three years. Trabajé allí por tres años. Ajá. Tres años is an specific amount of time. So, cuando usted está mencionando una cantidad de tiempo en particular, you need to say four. You need to say four. Four. Okay. How many years does the president of El Salvador work? He works for five years. He works for five years. Do you understand the example, the example? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Until. What's the meaning of until? Until. Hasta. Exactly. Hasta. Hasta. Then. What's the meaning of then? Entonces. Entonces or después. Entonces regresé a Salvador. Después regresé a Salvador. Got it? Yes, teacher. What Got about it. since? What's the function of since? Desde. Desde. Desde indicates the beginning of an action. Yes. When you say since. Yo le pregunto, mire, ¿y cuánto lleva viviendo en la casa donde está ahorita? Usted me dice, since 2015. Since 2015. Mire, ¿cuánto lleva trabajando donde está ahorita? Since 2017. Since 2017. Desde el momento que usted dice, desde el 2017, está indicando que en el 2017 inició esa acción. Right? Okay. And the last one is long. What's the meaning of long? Largo. Largo. <clears throat> Dice, but they haven't been for long, pero no han sido por largo. Questions or comments? Since, entonces sería desde un tiempo o desde hace Exacto. tiempo. Exacto, desde. desde. Solo la palabra desde. Y cuando usted dice desde... You're talking about the beginning of the action. Está hablando, está haciendo referencia al inicio de la, de la acción. Sí. Got it? Since. Ah, okay. Yes. Sí. Pregúnteme cuánto tiempo llevo en esta casa yo. How much Good time? Evening. Good evening. How much time like in this house? Okay. How much time have you lived in this house? I have been in this house since December. I have Para been in this house since December. Questions or comments? Okay. Yes, How do you say that I can see? Since I was born. Excuse me? Se escucha demasiada interferencia. Ok. ¿Alguien más escucha interferencia? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes. All right. Entonces, le vuelvo a hacer un recordatorio. Como un sonido de fondo. Pero viene, viene de mí. No, de los demás compañeros que tienen el micrófono encendido. Uh -huh. oh, ok. Entonces, le vuelvo a hacer el, el recordatorio amistoso, friendly. Si hay ruido en su entorno, mantenga muted your cell phone. You let your parcel now, I don't know. Okay, from two, four, since, And what's the other one? Until. Until. Okay, so the first day of class, 
Yes, William, do you have a question? Yes, I, I have a question. If the color uh, could, um, would be, would be meaning uh, como duradero. ¿Cuál? Uh, for long, for long. Ajá, pero no han sido duraderos. Duradero, no algo así. Yes. Ajá. Gracias. Ok. Ok, can you see the chat, people? Can you see the chat? Yes, yes. Yes. From, to, for, since, and until. In the first class, we discuss uh, different tenses. Discutimos diferentes tiempos gramaticales. Simple present, simple past, present continuous, past continuous, future, or any other tense you might be familiar with, o cualquier otro tiempo en cual usted está familiarizado. Entonces, I need one sentence from you, ocupando cada una de esas palabras que les acabo de poner en el chat. Got it? Got it. Ok, so, usted escoge el tiempo. Uh, simple present, simple past, present continuous. You decide. So when you put this, when you're ready with the sentences, you put them in the chat. Los ponen en el chat. Got it? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Una oración o una pregunta o una negativa, si usted quiere, con cada una de esas palabras. Let's go.
teacher, your microphone is off. Thank you, Francisco. How many more minutes do you need, people? Five more minutes, three more minutes. Okay, let's check the examples. I'm working in KPMG since May 2010. Very good. I lived in Aguachapan until 1999. Very good. I have to work from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., but normally I work until 11 p.m. Very good. Francisco and I are together in English classes since basic one. Very good. Okay. Until we finish the task, we will play. Very good. Excellent. I work in this company since, since 10 years, from 2011 until now. And you, how many, how much time? Have you worked in your job? Okay, a esta vamos a decirle, uh, para poner things, para decir desde, usted debe decir desde el 2010, desde el 2011, pero no puede decir desde 10 años. Okay, gracias. Yes, very good. And you, how much time have you worked in your job? Very good. I study English since 2021. My name is Francisco. I am from El Salvador, but I live in Dubai. Okay, my God. <laughs> okay, anybody else? I work in the company since 2018. I work for this company since 2009. We're going on vacation for a few weeks. He does not from, no, está incompleta. They're incomplete. Okay, any questions or comments, people? No? Okay, thank you for the ones that participated. Gracias por los que me enviaron su, uh, aunque sea una oración. Let me take attendance. When I say your name, please say present. Okay. Let's do this. Alex Martinez. Present teacher. Very good. Francisco Godinez. Present. Good. Delmi Gomez. Present. Good. Kenya Ruiz. Kenya. Kenny, are you here? Yes. Thank you. I am here. Okay. Juan Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. William Perez. Present. Good. Susana Jimenez. I'm here. Good. Susan uh, Jose Corea. Él es el que está trabajando, ok. Let's check. Judy Cuellar. Judy. 
Yuri, Yuri. Ok, Carlos Avendaño. Here. Good. Elsa Merino. Present. Thank you. Noemi Vasquez. Present teacher. Good. Lisette Paz, are you here by any chance? Okay. Uh, Ruben Campos. Present teacher. Good. Ellen Barraza. I'm here teacher. Good. Moises Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good. Maricela Velasquez. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Barrientos. Rafael. Okay. Iris Cañas. Iris. Iris, Iris. Reina Margarita. Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Calderón. Carmen, Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Vasquez. Andrea Vasquez. And Ana Mercedes Amay. Present. Okay, did I miss anybody? Me salte alguien? No? All right. So let's go to part three. It says getting Did pairs. Yes. What's your name again? What's your name again? Uh, what is your name? La persona que me dijo I'm here. Okay. Uh, your name again, please. Judy Quayer. Judy. We are right here. Thank you, you did. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do. You're going to be working in pairs. Va a practicar el, el dialogue. Y al mismo tiempo va a responder las preguntas que le están haciendo en la parte 3. So, you have to do parts 2 and parts 3. Si quiere le toma screenshot. Por si todavía no tiene uh, el libro impreso. Take a screenshot right now. Let me make the pairs. Uh -huh. Break our rooms. 21 people, that's a good number. Okay. Create. Uh -huh. Give me a second. And we're going to move her here. All right, let's go, people.
De Julio y de, de Julio y Ana, ¿verdad? Es la de ¿La hola? Sí, de Julio y Ana. Vale. Sí. ¿Empiezo? Uh -huh. o... Sí, está bien. <coughs> ok. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at uh, Unilever for five years. Teacher, nos permite compartir la pantalla, por favor. Sure, right now. Right there. Can Thank you see you. it? Thank you, teacher. Good, very good. Thank you. <coughs>
Todavía hay gente viniendo. Let's give them a couple of more seconds. Uh. All right, do you guys have any questions or comments? Questions or comments about the last yeah. exercise? Uh. Uh. En la William? tercera tuvimos Tuvimos, tuvimos una, un inconveniente, teacher. ¿Verdad que ahí se está refiriendo como a, o sea, a, cada, a cada uno individual? Have you Vamos ever a ver. Jobs? Have you ever done independent jobs? Exactly. La, la pregunta era para usted. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. What is another form to oh. say independent jobs? Independence. Independence. No, I haven't. Okay. In the world. But what In is world. what is another form to say independent jobs? Uh -huh. Ajá. What is another form to say independent jobs in English? Freelance. 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 Si todavía. Write it again. Write it again. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, please, you can read the conversation for us. Sure. Right now. Conversation? Sure. Really? Eh, les voy a, voy a poner a todos en mute so, you, so everybody can pay attention. Okay, so here we go. Freelance. Yeah. Freelance, yes, freelance. Is that what you said, freelance? Eso fue lo que dijo, freelance? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. So part two, here we go with the instructions. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation. Then practice with a part. How many people in the conversation? How Two many people. people? Two people, very good. Okay, here we go. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Questions or comments? How do you say actually in Spanish? Realmente. Realmente. No significa actualmente. Realmente. Okay. Until, my project, yes? Until my project was done, teacher? Uh, until this is done. Oh, until my project was done. Okay. Hasta que mi proyecto estuvo terminado. Okay, thank you. Yes. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No. I quit. I quit. Quit and renunciar. Yes. Renuncié. I quit. I quit. It's a very 
common expression that people use in English. Usted está en medio de su jornada y piensa de que ya no soporta por haber razón. Uh, you say, I quit. I quit. Okay, questions or comments? It's like renuncio. Yep, I quit. This is too much. I quit. Sí, eso quiere decir renuncio. En este caso es renuncié. I quit. Okay, anybody else? Any other comments or questions? No? Okay. Here the verb is in past. Quit. Yes. Yes, the verb is in past. Quit is one of the few verbs, irregular verbs in, in English, where the simple present is exactly the same as the simple past. Quit, it, beat, put, cut. Okay. All right, okay, so... Teacher. Look here, we're on page four, we're on page 14. Use four plus a period of time. I worked in Diana for seven years. Use things for specific points in the past. I worked there since 2005. Use from to state the start and end of time. I stay there from January to November. Use then to introduce a new event in a series. I worked in that company until 2011. Then I quit. Trabajé en esa compañía hasta el 2011. Después, renuncié. And then we have until. Use until to mark the end of an activity or period of time. I worked in Panama until my project was over. Trabajé en Panamá hasta que mi proyecto estaba terminado. Questions or comments? Okay, so let's do part five. Read about Nicole's work experience and fill in the blanks using four things from two and long. So please complete the spaces in part five. Let's go. Okay. Are the instructions clear? Yes, yes, teacher. Good, very good, go ahead.
All right. Uh, I need a volunteer for the first answer. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from Muka University. She studied there. Uh -huh. From 2005. To 2011. Very good. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. What's the next then, answer? Then she worked in Molsa. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. For seven years. For seven, years. seven, years. seven years. Period. Then, what is the next answer? Then. Huh? Then, then she was a child. Since she was a child. Since she was a child. Desde que ella era una niña. Ah, uh, a child. And she was a child. She wanted to be a manager of a great company, of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager, blank. Four. What's the answer? Four. Four. For almost 15 years. For almost 15 years, retired. His name was yeah. Gonzalo and he worked there since. Yeah, since. since 2015. Very good. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from from Monday to Saturday to Saturday and she loves her job she has not worked there until long long long, long. Yes. long. ella no ha trabajado ahí largo tiempo but her team supports her any questions or comments about the answers? No. What is mean team supports? Uh, her team supports, pero su equipo la ayuda o la respalda. Thanks. Good. Creo que donde William es el sonido. William Pérez. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else, people? No. Okay, so right now, we're going to do the first two questions in part one. I need a volunteer to please read these uh, questions, please. Have you applied? Volunteer to read? Have you applied for a job position recently? Recently? What recently? What specific information about your work experience can you provide? Very good, thank you. Have you applied for a job position recently? ¿Ha aplicado usted a una posición de empleo recientemente? What specific information about your work experience can you provide? ¿Qué información específica acerca de su trabajo, de su experiencia de trabajo puede proveer? So I will give you five minutes so you can answer this question. Cinco minutos para que contesten esta, esas dos respuestas. Recreate. Ok. Move this person here. And let's go, people.
Hello, Carmen. Hello, Maricela. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, teacher. How was your day? Good day, teacher. Fine. Good. Nice. Any questions about the activity? Uh, no, teacher, because I need to the um, the material the the el, the page. Sí. <laughs> you don't have the page. En la plataforma lo he visto, pero no lo puedo descargar todo. Yo creo que yo lo he hecho mal. Okay. También lo puede sacar del del WhatsApp a uh, chat, ahí se los envié. Pero yo creo que él lo envió antes que yo entrara, teacher. Oh, ok. All right. Acuérdeme cuando regresemos al, 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 uh, al main session. Ok. Ok, right. teacher. Good. Okay. Hello, people. Hello, Francisco teacher. Francisco and Noemi, any questions about the exercise? Mm, for the moment, no. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hello, teacher. Terminamos. Hello. Good, very good. Susana, is that wine? Uh, sorry? Is that wine? Your profile picture? Yes, uh, I work at. How uh, do you call it? A liquor Liquor company. Mm -hmm. Liquor company. Yes. Okay. <laughs> do you distribute everything like liquor, vodka, wine? Mm, sí, casi que todos. Eh, nuestra empresa tiene un portafolio bien grande con respecto a los licores. Eh, vemos cerveza también y algunos que otros vinos vamos a introduciéndonos poquito a poco en este mundo. Good, very good. Mm -hmm. ¿Conoce, ¿Conoce Disasta? Creo que sí. Vaya, similar a Disasta, solo que Disasta es como un poco más abierto porque tiene casi que de todo, de, o sea, de todos abarrotes y de todo. Nosotros sí. vamos poquito a poco, pero nuestro fuerte son los licores. Oh, ok. Hard liquor. Mm -hmm. Sí. Vodka, rum, whisky. Tequila, whisky. Sí, aguardiente. All right. Interesting. <risa> Algún día le voy a pedir que me mande el menú. <risa> Siempre, con gusto. <risa> ok, very good. Any questions about the exercise? No? No. No, teacher, estamos bien. Ok, let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. Three. Okay. <laughs> Any questions about the exercise, people? No? So have you applied for a job position recently? No? Yes? Maybe? No han aplicado ninguna plaza recently? No, teacher. No, I don't. No. No, teacher. Okay, yes, very teacher. good. Who said yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. So part two says, read this segment of a conversation between an HR representative and a new employee. What's the meaning of HR? What's the meaning of HR? Encargado. Human Resources. Human Resources. Exactly. Human Resources. 
es cargada de nombrar recursos humanos. Ya, recursos humanos y un empleado nuevo. Uh -huh. So we have Alan and we have Blanket. I need two volunteers, please, to read this conversation. Yes. May I? Yes, go ahead, please. Who said may I? Aye. Aye. Okay. I am, I am Alan. Okay. I am Alan. Oh, oh. Uh, and what is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven six five four. When were you born? I was born in July first. Where did you work? I worked in Malta. What did you do there? Uh, I was the evening my the evening my year. When did you work there? Uh, from 2005 to 2011. Do you have any university di diploma? Yes, I do. I have BB. Do you have any university medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. 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 Very good. Nice. Okay. What's the meaning of BBA? No BBA idea. means bachelor's degree. Bachelor. Bachelor's degree. What's the meaning of bachelor's? Bachelor. Not really. Because the question says, do you have a new university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. What's the meaning of BBA? Bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degree. Ahorita se lo voy a poner en el chat. Grado académico. Ajá, pero ¿cuál? BBA. Bachiller. Uh -uh. Business administration. Administración de empresas, secretaria. Bachelor of Business Administration. Ok, bachelor's degree, el que les acabo de poner ahí, eso significa título de licenciatura. Bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degree. Ahí el BBA le está diciendo a Bachelor's Business Administration. Yes. Okay. So you have different types of university degrees. You have engineer, architect, bachelor's. You have different ones. Tiene diferentes. Bachelor's degree. Significa licenciatura. Bachelor's degree. What is the degree? Okay. Questions or comments? So, fíjese bien, se lo voy a leer para que después todo lo practiquen. Dice, what is your social security number? It's 345-63245-786-54. Where were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What do you do there? I was the evening manager. Evening, evening, no es evening, it's evening, evening. I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011? Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BPA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension questions or comments see this here break our rooms 
Teacher, how do you mean I was the evening manager? Let me see it. Uh, I was the evening manager. Gerente Yo fui... De oh, el el gerente was. de qué? Gerente nocturno. Exactly. El gerente nocturno. Y recuerdo, okay. evening. Evening. Only two <laughs> Evening. 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 <coughs> not evening. No, that's not good. Evening. 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 Pero si es... a... Nadie es supervisor o gerente. 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 Ah, no. Evening. 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 So let's go, people. I walk up.
Pero sí, mire. Hello, hello. Hola, Hola teacher. How are you? Teacher, ¿qué, qué yes. vamos a hacer? Es que nos, nos cayó un mensaje, pero ya no lo pudimos ver de nuevo. Ah, tienen que hacer tres preguntas que usted escucharía en una job interview. Mm, ok. So you have to think. Tiene que pensar, ¿qué, tre, qué tres preguntas podría escuchar? Ok. okay. So, haga de caso que usted es la entrevistadora, la reclutadora. ¿Qué preguntas haría usted? Vale, las tengo claras en español, pero en inglés, vea. Uh -huh. Yeah, Question, questions in English. Yes. Okay. Ya captamos la idea. Okay, ok, very good. Disponibilidad de horarios. Ok. Do you have a special flexibility? Esa puede ser una. Ajá. That could be one. Any other questions, people? Mm, no, teacher. Solo ese era nuestro. Es que vimos el mensajito, pero ya no lo alcanzamos a leer bien. Okay. Y cuando lo buscamos, ya no estaba. Ok, good. No problem. Thank you. Bye bye. Entonces dijo, do you have. Es que se puede. People, people.
Did you make the three questions for the job interview? Did you make the three questions for the job interview? Hicieron las tres preguntas um, que usted formulara en una job interview? Only two, yes. teacher. Only two. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. Ponga una de las preguntas que hizo en el chat. Let's go. Voy a empezar. Let me see. Where's the chat? Right here. Yo le pudiese preguntar a usted. What brings you here? What brings you here? ¿Qué les pregunto ahí? ¿Qué lo trae aquí? What brings you here? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to be part of us? Very good. Why do you want to work with us? Very good. Who else? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Write one sentence. One sentence. One question, actually. Okay, the money. Why are you looking for a new job? Very good. What else, people? What else? What else? Why do you need the job? Uh huh. Okay, the pay. What else? What else? Uh huh. ¿Qué más tenemos por ahí? Yes, people. What is your experience? What is your experience? Very good. Anybody else? Anybody else? Alguien más? Uh -huh. Alguien más, aparte de Francisco, Moises, Delmi, Marisela, en Noemi. I want to work in a call center. I want to work in a call center. Okay. Anything else? What is your level of English? Very good. Yes, I do. I want to. Why did they despise you? What is despise? You mean fire? ¿Por qué lo despidieron? ¿Eso es lo que quiere preguntar? I want more capabilities. You mean uh, skills? Why do you want to change jobs? Very good. Very good. Anything else? Le voy a poner aquí tres. What is your salary? What is your salary expectations? What do you offer us as a worker? Very good. What is your salary expectations? Can you work under pressure? Arriba de mil sin mucha molestia. <laughs> Perdón. Uh -huh. Arriba de mil sin mucha molestia. <laughs> Uh, arriba de mil. Okay. Good. Yeah. Why not? Y, y la cuestión es de que muchas veces when you're doing a job interview, el reclutador le da el espacio y le dice, do you have any questions for us? ¿Tiene usted alguna pregunta para nosotros? Entonces ahí es donde usted tiene que ir ya preparado o preparada con una pregunta, dos o tres, si, si es necesario. Yeah. What is your salary expectation? 
Yep. Okay, any questions or comments, people? What's the meaning of uh, under pressure? Bajo presión. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. can you work under pressure? Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué deben de responder? What is the answer for that one? <clears throat> can you work under pressure? Yes, I can. Uh huh. Good. Good. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. All right. ¿Quién se va a quedar? Who's staying today? Volunteer or a victim? <laughs> victim. <laughs> victim. Okay. Déjeme paso. Ni él se la cree. Okay. Vamos <laughs> a ver. Uh, Susana Jimenez, are you here? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Ok, solo, solo, estoy, solo estoy pasando la, la, la lista. Uh, ¿Quién más me faltaba? Rafael Barrientos, are you here? Rafael Barrientos, are you here? Ok. Iris Cañas, are you here? Okay, and that's it. Okay, so um, let's see. Susana Jimenez, can you stay today? ¿Se puede quedar hoy? Mm, voy a ceder, teacher, hoy no puedo. Okay, alguien más, someone else? Someone else, someone else? Judy Cuellar, can you stay? Or Carlos Avendaño, can you stay? Yes. Okay. So everybody, please disconnect. Have a good night, except Carlos Avendaño. Sleep well. Thank good you. Night. Good 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 night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Have a good you night later. too. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. First God. Goodbye. 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 Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. How are you? You're muted. You're muted. Dejó su micrófono en mudo. Sorry. No, no problem. Right, no problem. Yeah. Where do you work, Carlos? Where do you work? Uh, I work in Droveria Nova. Oh. We are I am a salesman, sales, okay. salesman. Good, good, very good. So you sell medicine? Uh, no, no, no. For the place is not necessary. Only the experience uh, selling, selling. Okay, uh, all right, good. What, what is the location of this uh, place? Where is it located? My office. Yeah. My office is in Santa Tecla. Okay. Close to the Seguro Social. Closer. Okay. To the social. Okay, good, very good. All right, Lock. Carlos, do you have any questions about the topics in class? Uh, well, uh, I'm coming late uh, because of my work, because I yeah. got some things or personal things to do. Yes, but uh, I I try to get catch up. Uh huh. Uh, I like the English very much. Uh, Good. What? No, I learn listen music, watching movies, uh, practicing in my car, listening music. Uh, when I got time, I I I put the the la letra the the, the uh, lyrics. Uh -huh, the lyrics of, of the music <clears throat> and I try to translate and that's the way I've been learning uh, 
That's good. All, all my life, all that I have learned uh, is on that way. Good. Very good. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Good. That's a very good technique that you're applying. Yes, it works. Uh, and I try to, to help to my daughter. She was uh, six, six, six years in a bilingual school. Okay, bilingual school, okay. And uh, it was a little sacrifice, but it works. Uh, she learned very, very much English. Very good, very good. Her sometimes. Good, good, that's nice, good. All right, any comments or any suggestions for the course, Carlos? Uh, no, I think that everything is easy to understand. Okay. Easy to practice. Uh, uh, sometimes I, I lost in the class because I, I, I got many things all around me. Yeah. And I try to get concentrated, but it's not easy. And sometimes I get lost in my what's happened <laughs> <laughs> it happened. something and i get asked asked at uh, my partner when i in the group right yes you you need to be concentrated so, so uh, that's part of the, the okay got yeah, to to recorrer ¿cómo se dice? yeah to run uh-huh yeah part of just like the life, the work. Uh, okay. We do only one thing. All right, good, good. Okay, Carlos, so uh, thank you very much for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Correct. Bye-bye. Good night.